So um, let me just uh, show a, a couple of those techniques in a quick uh, routine. So again, I'm going to record at half speed, turn on the metronome, and we'll see if I can do something a bit more interesting than, than last time. So get ready to go. <coughs> so. Flares, some fast flares. Okay. So again, not brilliant, but we'll see how that sounds at, at full speed. A bit more interesting. Um, now, uh, the next thing is that you might find if you do get a take which you really like and you do want to get into um, into editing it, um, if you try and open up the automation data uh, for the wave position, for example, um, you might find that you can't actually uh, as you would like or, or hope. So, so, so this is me zoomed in as tight as I can go, uh, and. Uh, for some of these uh, finer shapes, if I can get this a little, make a bit more room here. Um, <clears throat> for some of these finer shapes, like say down, down here, I can't quite get the mouse in tight enough there. I, if this is as far as I can zoom in, then, then that's not really uh, zoomed in enough. Um, easy way to fix that is from the uh, project settings. So if you go up to um, options and then project general settings, uh, you have this option here for time-based PPQ. Um, so this is basically uh, the amount of individual, I guess, atoms or, or, or grains of, of data which you can have in your project. So if you push that value right up to, say, 192, uh, you'll see that uh, the playlist now looks much wider. And then if I go into the automation data now, I can actually zoom in much closer. And in fact, if you need to get to get closer still, then you can push that further still. Now, of course, this is going to translate into bigger bigger projects, um, bigger sound files. But um, well, I mean, uh, <coughs> general scratching is actually sort of quite fast in and around the beat. So I think that's kind of the price you pay, really. So if you go to 384 now, now you can see that I can get in quite close, and I can actually get this quite fine like that. Um, <clears throat> another handy technique I found is uh, if you if you want to um, utter um, okay, like that. there we go, it's a little bit better. Zoom um, a little bit. Um, say for example um, I, I know just from experience that uh, this part here is, is probably going to be the the, the, uh, f uh, the flares that I was doing, the, uh, two, the fast two-click flares. Um, so let me just um, highlight that inside the playlist. So, so, th so this is the start of bar three, and we'll, we'll, and we'll loop only that section. Okay. Um, as well as just going in and, and drawing on on these waveforms directly, so so uh, there's that handy feature where you can uh, right click and you can just drag out straight lines. Um, so if you wanted to get that that quite sort of neat and elegant, you can do that. But another way, because I've found that um, it's so sensitive um, to how you edit the data, it can massively change the sort of you know, human feel of it. Um, <clears throat> but a way to move these things around without losing that sense of, I guess, live performance is if you highlight what you want to change. I'm just making it quite so tall. Uh, and use the, the uh, scale levels tool uh, inside the editor. And you can use these values to really easily shift um, where it's playing in the waveform. So. 
I can main, I can make it only play across the start, um, and then I can offset it up, and, and I can multiply it all down, and then offset it so that the start and ends match up to where they were. So now they are quite short flares. Okay, I could make them really short so that they're, they're almost dragged flares. Or I can, and I can affect the tension, which gets sort of different, um, different, different feels again. So this is a nice way of, of, of being able to, to slightly vary the sound of things without having to do um, major hand editing. Um, <clears throat> and that's about it. So yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you found this all useful. Um, and if you uh, have any comments, and please either get in touch via, via YouTube or via um, the Free Lips forum. Okay, bye.